Thanks for watching Gold Scratch. Uh, in this video, first of all, YouTube, thanks very much for the uh, great response to my previous video about my pride and joy, my 6D Camaro Z28. In this video, I'm going to provide you some information about uh, what's unique about a Z28 and how you can really tell a real one from a clone. So, first of all, what's unique about a Z28? What's unique is that it was the original and real uh, production race car, uh, factory produced race car. In the 1960s, Trans American Road Racing was very popular and it was really a battle between General Motors, Ford, and Chrysler for the pony car supremacy. And in order to compete in it, uh, GM had to make at least 500 copies of the race car that were available to the general public. So in 1967, uh, GM produced just over 600 Z28 Camaros. In fact, at that time, uh, the Z28 or Z28 uh, was just the uh, order code for the package of equipment that was required on the race car. Uh, Z23, for example, was deluxe interior. Uh, and in fact, the original Z28s uh, didn't even have badging on them. It just had 302 on the side. So the rest is history. Uh, in the 60s, Mark Donahue, driving for Roger Penske, won multiple races and championships in Trans-American Road Racing, uh, driving his Z28 Camaro. What's unique about it uh, in the Z28 package? First of all, the engine. All engines in Trans Am had to be under five liters, so uh, less 302 cubic inch. And that was really a combination of the original Corvette fuel injection engine, uh, with a four inch bore, the 327 engine, and using a three inch stroke, which originally was in the 283. Uh, the 302 also had a variety of other special features. It had forged aluminum, 11 to 1 compression pistons, uh, large valve heads, high rise aluminum intake manifold, 800 Hall A CFM carburetor, uh, forged crankshaft, uh, and a variety of other special features that made it special. Uh, also, uh, all Z28s had the following equipment. They had to have a Muncie four-speed close ratio transmission. They had to have a heavy-duty pause traction rear end with at least 3.73 gears, heavy-duty suspension, power disc brakes, uh, uh, multi-leaf springs, and a variety of other things. All Z28s also had, of course, the, uh, the unique stripes, which uh, the easiest are the easiest uh, part to clone or copy, and they've been copied by uh, many, many kinds of cars. So how can you tell your, whether your car is really a Z28 or not if you're looking to buy one, for example? One thing that's special and unique is that all Z28s had 15-inch wheels and only Z28 Camaros had 15-inch wheels. Even 427 Camaros did not have 15-inch wheels. So one way you can determine whether yours originally was a Z28 is, is this. If you look in the glove box, there is a sticker and that sticker stipulates the tire pressure and size. And I'm going to show you that sticker right now. It's difficult to read it from here, but trust me, it says E70 15 tires. And that tells me and you that it's an original Z28. So, hope you found that interesting. Uh, <clears throat> if you do, uh, please subscribe and Look forward to more uh, project videos from Gold's Garage. Likes are good. Uh, and I also look forward to your comments. Thanks for watching Gold's Garage.